Hey guys, Keith here with Ramshackle Homestead and Survive. And what I'm going to do today, I'm definitely not a gun builder or lock tuner or anything of that nature. But I do know a few tips and tricks that will get you going in the woods and definitely make you probably have a little more successful hunting season. And most of it's just common sense. It's nothing probably most of you guys don't already know, but I figure right here before hunting season, it's a good time to have a refresher on some of this stuff. So stay tuned. All right, so early in the year, and I guess when there's still a little humidity out and it's here in Ohio River Valley and it's always humid, you see a lot of guys have all these black stains on their shirts, and that's from wiping your pan off. I mean, I'm constantly wiping my pan off, or wiping my frizzing off, rather, wiping my pan out, pulling all the moisture out of it, because just after that one shot, you'll see how it gets that little funk to it. So, you you know, every couple shots, definitely, while I'm out in the field, I'm wiping that out, keeping it dry. And on the subject of moisture, just in general, when I'm out hunting, I use a greasy knee a lot. And you guys have seen these. It's just a piece of leather made with a little, a couple of little ties. And I have pretty good luck with that, keeping moisture off my gun. Uh, what I usually don't do. A lot of guys tie them front and back. I won't tie mine in the back because if I'm out and I'm actually using my gun in wet weather conditions, what I'll do, I can just flip it to the side, pull it up, and this lays flat enough that it does not interfere with my line of sight. So instead of having to untie that, as I'm walking through the woods, I will keep it tied tight. But when I'm setting hunting, keep it loose, Slip it to the side. It will not affect your sight plane. All right, next little trick. If I'm out in the woods and for some reason I forgot my greasy knee and it does start to rain, what I like to do is take my lock and tuck it up underneath my arm and carry my gun in this manner. And that'll provide a pretty good amount of uh, rain, moisture, resistance it's not going to be as good as a greasy knee of course but it definitely beats walking around with it out here where all the moisture is going to run down so try to keep it tucked up underneath your armpit it'll stay a little warmer and hopefully quite a bit drier as you're out moving around in wet weather probably my next favorite as far as keeping the weather off my lock is when i have my hunting frock on even with it wrapped i usually wrap it right over left I right, do that because I'm left or right-handed rather, and as I'm setting, I can take my frock and pull my lock up inside there. So I'm still ready all the time, but my lock is still protected by my frock at this point, and not only the frock but the cape. So that kind of gives you a double layer. It's another one of those things where you know you've got a little bit of protection, but you're ready to slide it out when the need arises, and that's. That's probably the method that I use the most as far as in wet weather. All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, just prime while you're hunting. I prime my gun and I'll put just a minute amount of powder. I'm not filling that pan all the way up. And the reason being, you want that flame path to travel through your touch hole. You're not trying to cram so much powder in that pan that it actually ignites for lack of a better word I guess has a mini explosion you're just trying to shoot a flame in through your touch hole so you don't need that thing just I mean slap full of powder less is actually more in that situation another thing before you ever prime too you know take a minute Pick your vent hole out, kind of clean it up, make sure you have a good passageway. And I'll do that every time and then go ahead and again wipe everything down. Now, when I'm out in the woods, what I'll do uh, about every 10 or 15 minutes, depending on the weather a lot, maybe sometimes three times an hour, you know, I'm going to be sitting there hunting, hunting, hunting. Uh, I'll go ahead, flip open. 
dust all my prime out. I'll reprime about every 15 minutes, you know, somewhere in there. That way you're not sitting there, it may not seem that, that, that much moisture in the atmosphere to you, but it definitely well could get into your charge. And then, you know, when you go to shoot, it's just, just phew, I've had it happen more times turkey hunting than I care to talk about. So I did get into that habit of every 15, sometimes 20 minutes, 10 minutes, just depending on the weather. I'll dump that prime out. A lot of times I'll pick it and prime back up and set for another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, another time to check it too is that when you're up, you know, you're walking through the woods, your gun's swinging around a little bit. You walked half a mile to get in that creek bottom. You've been still hunting down and through there the whole way. Well, when you get set down, it would be another good time. Flip it open, check it, because a lot of times, you know, you have powder dribble out as you walk along and there's nothing worse in the world than pulling up to shoot that big buck and having a big clatch instead of a kaboom and that is a habit definitely i've gotten into with turkey hunting because you can't have a fast enough ignition when you're out in the spring turkey woods good habit to get into during camp or even at home if you're going to leave a flintlock loaded is to stick a feather or a Whittle your little stick, stick through the touch hole. That's kind of an indication to folks that the gun is loaded. And also, as it uh, changes from day to night or night to day, the temperature changes, that'll leave your vent hole a little more open and not give it as much a chance to gum up, depending on the humidity and what the weather's doing. I also, almost during hunting season, never, never bring my gun indoors. I will leave it loaded and let it sit out in the shop. And that way it stays the same ambient temperature as the uh, atmosphere that I'll be hunting. Another thing to do, and it got me last year, if you guys saw it on the video, I pulled up, been shooting the gun quite a bit. A little doe come in, pulled up, clack, pulled up, clack. I had to actually sharpen my flint and then still manage to shoot the deer. But, uh, just about every morning when I leave camp or leave home, or I'll go ahead and check her, make sure she's sparking good. And if I have any doubt in my mind, I will go ahead and change that flint. So, I mean, what we're looking at here mostly, uh, you know, you wanna check your charge, have a good sharp flint, keep the moisture out, and be sure and keep replenishing your prime as you sit there as it draws moisture throughout the day and those little tips right there nothing new under the sun everybody knows this but just little handy things that i've done that at first made my muzzle loading life hell and now you know i have ignition just nearly 99 percent of the time so if you like this video guys please check us out and uh, over on facebook and instagram and hit that uh, like button and give us a subscribe. Thanks. Possum up a simmon tree, raccoon on the ground. Raccoon said to the old possum, shake him simmons down. And I said, mm, little eyes.